Paul's new turtle. We rescued her. Look at this eel. That's so cool, right? It's a oh my god. So they just mentioned to me that they have a turtle that needs a new home. They can no longer take care of it. So we're gonna be picking it up for them and bringing it over to Paul's house. <laughs> Look at her. They said they've had her for a couple years. Really? So what? She's like, um, oh, she, so she was a pet. She wasn't found. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. She was a pet. Um, she was housed with smaller musk turtles. Yeah. And she started to bully them because she's twice the size of the yeah. turtle. Yeah. Um, but she's cool. Yeah, she's that's chill. awesome. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna bring it over to Paul's house and give her a new home. The lady in there said, hey, I have a turtle that someone brought in. I need someone to take it. I was like, yeah, no problem. Take it over to Paul's house and put it in his turtle pond. It's just like all the other turtles, maybe a little bigger, but I think it should be fine. So let's go head over to Paul's and bring this little sucker over there. All right, guys, it is the next day and the turtle is doing fine. She's in a little temporary bin I put in there just overnight till I can take her to Paul's house. She has a rock to sit on. She has some water. And yeah, she's doing fine. This was just for overnight, so she is fine. As you can see, her head's coming out right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take her and put her, look at her, by the way, she's cool, and put her right in the box. Now, let's head to Paul's. We are at Paul's house right now, just got here. We got our little turtle in her box. So let's get a little look on her. There she is, right there. Oh gosh, she scratched up the box, wow. All right, anyways, let's get her out of here. Get her out of this box. I feel bad for her. Ow, she bit me. Charlie bit my finger. I walk up to the front door right here, and this is what I see. A whole little family of piglets. Look at this thing. Bubba Loos. Are these your children, Bubba Loos? Okay. Hi, sweetheart. Aren't um, you it's like a, a peacock oh, slider or something okay. like that. Oh, sweetie, so sweet. you're so sweet. Do you want to swim over oh, to me? <laughs> Whoa, oh, she's strong. Yeah, she is. <laughs> okay, let's get where you can. Hello, welcome. You I want to get show Paul. Oh, thing is really nice. She's so cute. Mm. And it's named Uma, which is my mom's mom's name. And why is that mom? Because since my mother has passed away, uh, she has been leaving dimes, tails up, and I keep finding them in weird places that they weren't there before or whatnot. So I went on the internet and looked it up, and there's actually a meaning for it. Uh, they're thinking of you, they're giving you strength at hard times. Paul has been getting them, Tommy has been getting them. Uh, we're all the favorites, I guess. But we just went to put the turtle back in after I greeted her, and I picked that, opened it up, and underneath the turtle is a dime. Down dime. And my mom is the one who brought me all the love, or taught me all the love for animals turtles and whatnot. That so, dime was not there when I put the turtle in the Nick box. Nick said it wasn't there. I'm sorry, he said it wasn't there. And put her, look at her, by the way, she's cool. And put her right in the box. So we're naming the turtle Uma, which is German for... He goes, I don't know, there was a dime in there. And the tail's up. No. Like, That's oh crazy. God. So yeah, so we're gonna crazy. name it after Pam's mom, Uma. 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 Which is German for grandmother. We all called her Uma anyway. Her mm -hmm. name's actually Sonia. Oh my God. Hi, Uma. Aren't you sweet? <laughs> Paul's new turtle. We rescued her. Also, say big shout out to the lady at um, Jaws and Claws. The lady at uh, Jaws and Claws for this nice clawy turtle. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put her in her new home. She's gonna love it. She has a bunch of turtle right. friends. Oh, no, Look, and she's the same size as that one right there. Literally. Yeah. They're all. It's getting redone too. Yeah. It works, dude. There's so much I want to do. It's like, it's gonna be from like the wall, from that concrete to here. So look at that, look how much space they're gonna have from that wall to Paul. 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 Wall to Paul. Okay, yeah. Right. And then from this, all the way to here. So like, think about how big that Dang, is. Dang, that's like a legit pond. Yeah, and then they'll be like, there's only 12 turtles in here. Imagine if I could put in that. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. the, it's like um like a, a pond but above ground pond. Ready? Here she is. Here she goes. In her new home. Oh. Woo! So long. Yeah, look how cool she looks, her shell. For real. Oh, <laughs> air bubble. And she's already she used to be a pet of somebody, so they just yeah. couldn't keep her anymore. Look, I love how they all welcome her. They're not even like, oh, right look there, at, dude, right usually any other turtle would be like, like freaking out. freaking out swimming away. She's just 
exploring the new home. And she has her new friends right here. She's about the same size as these two turtles right here. Look. These two are a little smaller, but honestly, not not by much. No, these guys grown. Do you remember how big these were? Dude, I gave you it when yeah. it was this big. It was literally like an inch long. That was Frank. What the Frank? <laughs> Oh, this is three-legged Larry. Oh, it's a heat. It's a guy. Okay. Yeah. Three-legged Larry. So the stub. So this turtle was actually born with three legs. You can see the little stub. Every once in a while, you get one of those like mutant babies, and yeah. this is one of them. And she actually found it in a in a lake. Its name is Wrench, really, because if you look on his head. <gasps> That's so cool, wrench. It's a wrench. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait. Wrench. It it's is a wrench. A wrench. Wow. Yeah. So it was a three-legged turtle, and uh, the down. snapping turtle could definitely be mistaken. Snappy turtles live with turtles since it was this big. Yeah, and it, it and it do. literally hides 95% of the time. At night, it will, yeah. Comes up there, yep. It doesn't do anything to any of them. They were out here in the rain yesterday. It was so cute. They were all out in the rain loving it. Really? This morning, one of the turtles came out at all. All right, guys. So me and Paul are actually going to head over to Mark's Art and check out some saltwater stuff, some fish, some rocks, any decoration for the tank. So, yeah, I'll see you there. We're here at Mark's Art, the pet store. You guys know of this pet store. Me and Paul always film here. I'm not seeing any lionfish in here, but they do have lionfish. What? How small that painted turtle is. Oh, baby hippo. There's more painted right there. Wow, those are cool, dude. And snapping turtles right there. Dude, that is so dope. I'm kind of sad because there's no lionfish in here, bro. But yeah, so they do usually have lionfish in here. They're very cool. What is that, a sexy shrimp? Oh, I need that one. Sexy shrimp. Sexy shrimp. Where is a sexy shrimp? That's I think it's right there. He looks pretty sexy. <laughs> we got a few selections of saltwater fish here. This is just like more community saltwater fish. We got some tangs and then some eels. Look at this eel. This is crazy. All right, listen. If this video gets 5,000 likes, I will buy that eel. Whatever kind of eel that is. I think. It, oh my God, there's two of them. That red one and there's a white one underneath. There's a red one in the rock. That's sick. See that eel right back there? I think he's so cool. And they're pretty cheap. They're not that expensive. So we might get one of these. And something cool about my tank is I just set it up, but I have this sand, the same exact sand, and look what it says. No waiting, just add fish. It's already instant cycling. This is a pair of Jackson chameleons. I actually used to have one like five years ago. He was huge. I had him for like almost five years. And he passed away from old age. But this is a pair of Jackson Chameleons. They're not that expensive either. So if you guys think I should get a pair of these guys, these exact ones, I will come back and get them. And of course, since they're a pair, they will have babies. So we would have little baby chameleons running around the tank. Look at that. There's some more saltwater stuff over here. Oh, he's sick. That is awesome. Oh, look at this. We got some uh, rockfish. Wow. That's cool. Little gobies? Yeah, little gobies, actually. Yeah, and then we got some more Nemo fish over here, and I don't know. See, I don't know too. Really? Yeah. I don't know too much about saltwater fish. I'm still getting into it. So as time goes on, I'm gonna learn a lot. But it's fun. Look at this. Hold on. Look at this. A little puffer fish. This is awesome. I really want a puffer fish. They have so much personality. Look at this. He follows my finger. Look at that thing right there. I don't know what that is. They have a whole bunch of cool like little critters. For your salt, for your tank, like shrimps, everything. Yeah, and like, what is that thing? Like, it's like I said before, I'm still learning. It, it's fun actually learning all this stuff because look how cool these freaking saltwater fish, and crabs, and snails, and all that is. So he actually just told me that the eels, groupers, lionfish can all go together because it's kind of just like a predatory freshwater tank, but saltwater. So all these, like that eel right there, that's a predatory fish right there. Look how cool that. Paul, come here. Come tell me which one you like. Thank you. And this right here is my dream saltwater fish. Literally my dream saltwater fish. Ask Paul. How, uh, Paul, how much do I talk about this fish? A lot. And you also wouldn't have been able to see it. I had to pick you. Oh, yeah. So, actually, I'm on, a, <laughs> I'm on a ladder right now because I couldn't see He's it. Like, I'm like, wow, look at this thing. He's like, wait, pick me up. <laughs> pick him up. Yeah. So, this is a big panther grouper. They get, usually they're like this. That's a perfect size. You don't want to you have to grow it like too much. You know what I mean? You can mm -hmm. see it right away in a tank that's that big. Yeah, that's sick. So, maybe... We'll come back and grab this guy. He said they don't sell as fast, so this thing should still be here. That's insane. Look at that. That's insane. This is awesome. You know how much awesome. maintenance that probably is? Yeah, a lot of maintenance for sure. How much maintenance is this? 
a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so we just got done with Mark's art. All those fish are awesome. I'm not sure what I want to get yet. Paul, what do you think? Um, Panther grouper. Panther grouper. So we're going to head back. I hope you guys enjoyed me giving Paul his new turtle. She has a new home. And Paul, are you going to take good care of her? Yes. It's going to be a dope uh, videos over on my channel. Yeah. Uma. 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 We'll have like a whole new pond. We already showed you the sizes, how big it's going to be and everything. So be ready. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to getting many fish for a saltwater tank in the future here. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. And we'll see you in the next one. See you.